Hey there unicorns and unicorn enthusiasts, my name is Samrangi Roy and today we are going to explore the magical world of Indian unicorns. Uh, let's deep dive into the fascinating realm of economics to unravel the mystery of these magical creatures. But wait a second, what exactly are unicorns in this wild world of economics? Picture this, you've got a startup, it's innovative, it's disrupting industries left, right and centre and then suddenly one day, bam! it hits the magical 1 billion valuation mark. That's right, now we are talking about unicorns. Now let's take a closer look at some of our very own Indian unicorns. Now these are not your ordinary startups, they are the rock stars of the Indian business landscape. First up, we have the e-commerce giants like Flipkart and Snapdeal swooping in to revolutionize online business. From fashion to accessories to gadgets, they've got it all covered, delivering smiles every day to your doorstep. But hey, the unicorn party doesn't end here. We've still got fintech wizards like Paytm and Zerodha, which are quite literally shaking up the financial scene in India. Say goodbye to traditional banking and all the tedious paperwork that come with it and say hello to digital banking, digital transfers and investments and so much more all at your fingertips. And let's not forget the trailblazers like Ola, Oyo Rooms, Baijus. They are taking their unicorn magic worldwide and spreading their innovation and excellence literally all across the globe. But hey, it's not all roses, rainbows and butterflies always for these unicorn creatures. They too have their fair share of challenges. Uh, be it fierce competition or regulatory hurdles, but they rise above it all, fueled by intense determination, passion and a sprinkle of unicorn dust. Now let's get down to business. What are some of the very common features of these Indian unicorns? First and foremost, rapid growth. Indian unicorns have experienced exponential growth often propelled by investments from domestic as well as foreign investors, mostly venture capitalist firms. These companies have demonstrated the ability to scale rapidly, expanding their user base and revenue streams over a relatively short period of time, in fact a very short period of time. Number two, diverse sectors. Indian unicorns span across a wide range of sectors including e-commerce, fintech, healthcare, logistics, education, food delivery and whatnot. This diversity only reflects the multifaceted nature of the Indian economy itself and the opportunities for innovation across various industries. Number three would be e-commerce dominance. Whenever we talk about unicorns, the very first two names that come to our mind literally are Flipkart, Snapdeal and other e-commerce websites. So there is an e-commerce dominance when it comes to uh, Indian unicorns and these companies were the very first Indian startups to achieve unicorn status. These platforms have literally revolutionized online shopping in India, catering to the growing demand for convenience and accessibility among Indian shoppers. Next we have the fintech disruption which is also a very common trait of Indian unicorns. The rise of fintech unicorns like I've already mentioned Paytm and Zerodha, they highlight the transformation that is taking place in the financial services sector of India and these companies leverage technology to offer digital payment options, lending, investment, insurance solutions, driving the financial industry, the financial inclusion and accessibility in India to great heights. Number five would be global ambitions. Most of these Indian unicorns have global ambitions. They are very, very ambitious and they have plans to expand beyond the domestic market in big ways, aiming to tap into international markets and establish a global presence. So companies like Ola, Oyo Rooms, Baijus, they have all expanded into multiple countries, not just India, and they have showcased India's potential as a source of innovative technology solutions worldwide. And lastly, it would be regulatory challenges. So despite their success, Indian unicorns often face regulatory challenges which might be crippling to their growth, particularly in sectors like e-commerce and fintech. These regulatory challenges and compliance requirements can impact the business operations of these unicorns and even their growth strategies, necessitating adaptability and resilience. So overall, if I am to summarize whatever I just said, 
Indian unicorns represent the dynamism and entrepreneurial spirit of the country's youth, especially the startup ecosystem, which is dominated by the country's youth. They serve as catalysts for innovation, job creation, and economic growth, driving India's transition towards a knowledge-based economy in the 21st century. And there you have it, folks, the enchanting world of Indian unicorns, where dreams become reality and the sky is the limit. So keep dreaming, keep believing in magic, and who knows, maybe you'll be the next unicorn. Until next time, stay magical.